get our hands on this thing and see what we got. We definitely had them all around us. I'm talking literally all around us. How the emotion starting to set in. Unbelievable. <laughs> Down to the wire. He's coming in. He's drinking. This week on Double Long Outdoors, we're going to be hunting New Zealand with Shane Quinn with Alpine Hunting New Zealand. We've got Paul, Teresa here as well. I've got a bucket list of animals here for New Zealand that I've always wanted to hunt. It's going to be an exciting show. We flew into New Zealand out of Houston to Auckland on the North Island. We had to catch a domestic flight down to Palmerston North. Our guides picked us up Palmerston North. We had about a two hour drive down to the hunting area. We're here and we're ready to go. Here we are, first day in New Zealand with Shane Quinn and Alpine Hunting. It snowed last night, so uh, we sat around camp a little bit this morning and let things lift. We went down and shot our guns in. We're going to head out. Wish us luck. Went looking around to see what uh, animals we could see. It was a little bit of overcast, but we made the best of it. Came up here to a lookout up here on top. We're gonna to glass down on all these bottoms and see what we can find. There was a cabin way up in top of the mountains here and uh, we decided to come up here and just see what was up here. And it's snowing, it's beautiful, it's cold. We're having a great time. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. The glass down here in the bottom, we found some stag and some fallow deer. Now we're gonna ease down a little bit and see if we can get a better look at them. We saw a red stag down in the bottom and we're gonna move down and see if we can get closer to it. Had a pretty good first day. We've seen quite a bit of animals, just didn't find the ones we were looking for. We're gonna get out. We just uh, actually got here yesterday. We're gonna get out, see what's out there. We've got into our blind here, and uh, you'll be able to see all the, out in front of us, this, this country here, this beautiful country. We did see some animals coming in and we actually have seen a few up here filtering around, so we're gonna kinda of get, get seated here, get quiet and see what comes in. We have seen some saka and some red stag crossing out in front of us, probably 150 yards, 200 yards out in front of us. Nothing has actually come within range of the bow. Definitely of the rifle, but uh, we are bow hunting in New Zealand. Hopefully for a Saka or a Rusa. Got an Rusa. It's on this ridge in front of us, or out to the side of us, but I got a small saka down below feeding up right now. Well, uh, dark as a goddess, <laughs> among a little other stuff. You can kind of look over my right shoulder here. It's snowing straight down, so it, uh, we're done for the evening. We're going to get on the radio and get Bruce in here to get us picked up and uh, get back, get next to the fire and get ready for tomorrow. Southern Ohio Outfitters is your premier 100% fair chase whitetail hunting operation. Southern Ohio Outfitters has been guiding hunters to their trophy of a lifetime since 2005. Call or text Dave Lusk at the number below.
You're watching Double Lung Outdoors TV. Well, we're here uh, in New Zealand at Shane Quinn's. Uh, we're uh, on our second morning out. Uh, well, actually, second day, first morning. And uh, we're going to go back out and get in a blind and see what happens this morning. Well, we got up, went to the blind uh, for the uh, rooster that morning. Went back in the same blind because they were kind of moving in that area. Well, we're uh, in the same blind we were yesterday. We're seeing a lot of stuff up on the hillside. They just never come in. So we're hoping they come in this morning. We actually do see a few up there on the hillside now. So we're going to kind of get ready, get quiet, and hope our guide here knows what he's talking about and picking us out one. Scotty, uh, since it's gotten cold, snow's gotten a little uh, heavy on top, push animals down, and it's been a dry year. We'll be putting out some um, alfalfa and stuff, just because um, the grass has stopped growing. Right. Um, this time of year, the grass stops growing for a couple of months. Um, so we put out like a supplement feed, um, yeah. alfalfa. Yeah. And um, yeah, and ba basically chuck the alfalfa out and ho hopefully they'll come in. Yeah, you know? yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Well, we had a rusa come in and uh, he was at 40 yards. I hit him a little back, probably a little bit more back than I wanted to. He went up in this thicket in here. We're gonna let him, give him a little bit when we go in. We may end up having to back it up with a rifle because uh, Scotty is saying they are tough and they don't, they don't give up. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens and we'll go from there. Give me the gun. You better shot take it. Okay. The one on the right. Well, it's obvious I hit him back, and uh, uh, I'm sure didn't like it, but that's what it was. And yeah, well, those those shots was a little bit far back. They're sort of suspect, you know. We we leave it for maybe half a day, or yeah. you know, three or four hours, or five hours. And, you know, leave the area, we try and back out of, no one else sort of hunts that area, just to try and let them die and basically stay in that area so we can find them. Yeah. And don't, that's basically what we did with your one. Yeah, don't push them out. Yeah, if, if you bump them, yeah. and then, or well, you've seen how thick it is, oh, yeah. if you bump them and they keep going, yeah. you get less and less blood that first little bit, you've got a bit of blood, and then if you bump them again, there's even less blood. If you bump them again, there's no blood. Yeah, right, so, yeah. So, yeah, it's best not to bump them. Well, that's what we did, and we went in and got him. Yep. We got here in New Zealand a few days ago. We got Scotty here. We're at Shane Quinn, Alpine Hunting, New Zealand. We had several things coming in yesterday. You know, I made a shot on him. I hit him a little back. They, they flew yesterday trying to locate him. Didn't work. Sun come out today and uh, they were flying around and he was just about right where we were hunting at in an opening in there, wasn't he, Scotty? Yeah. We're gonna get him uh, either in the back of the Can-Am or on the rope with a helicopter and get him back down to the lodge.
This segment is brought to you by Talent Roofing. Quality roofing since 1987. Kuiu, the most advanced mountain hunting clothing and equipment on earth. Alamo Precision Rifles, the best rifles this side of the Pecos. You're watching Double Lung Outdoors TV. Coming here to New Zealand, I had a couple of animals that had been way up in my bucket list for a long time, and that was the tar and the chamois. Uh, you got to go down to the South Island for that, so we're loading up. We're going to head south on a small Cessna 206 that uh, Alpine Hunting owns. They're going to take us down. We're going to meet up with a helicopter pilot. We're going to get up in the New Zealand Alps and see if we can get us a tar and a chamois. Second day here in New Zealand, we got up this morning, had about an hour drive over here to a runway where we've got a Cessna 206 picking us up and going to take us up in, over to the South Island. We're going to hunt tar and chamois today out of a helicopter. Sounds like it's going to be an exciting day. We loaded up on the airplane here on the North Island and we landed uh, pretty close to the Southern Alps. All right, so we had about a two and a half hour flight down in the Cessna. Uh, we're here, we're fixing to load up in the chopper, head out over here into the New Zealand Alps and uh, hunt tar and chamois. It's gonna be an exciting time. What we did on hunting the tar and the chamois, we got in a helicopter, we went up in the New Zealand Alps. Hi, I'm Bruce. Uh, I've been working at uh, Alpine Hunting since 92 for Shane. And this week I had the pleasure of hunting with Paul and Teresa. Yeah, lots of people are nervous about the tar and chamois hunting from the helicopter, you know, we, we fly until we find a good one and then we'll, he'll put us out somewhere where you can get to to get a shot. And when you locate the tar and the chamois, they put the chopper down by a ledge and you get out, the chopper leaves, and then you gotta take it from there and put yourself in position to take a shot on either the tar or the chamois. We were looking for tar or chamois and about three and a half hours in, we spotted a really good tar bull. Uh, the helicopter put us down, we moved into position. The adrenaline rush, it's hard to explain. Oh, there he is, there he is. There he is, he fell. That's a hard deal to yeah. do. All right. Woo. You just got a tar. Thank you, Bruce. <laughs> wow. That was awesome. We just shot us a tar up here in the New Zealand Alps. Man, what a rush. They went over and recovered the tar. They're going down to an area where we can uh, drop it off so we can, they'll come back and get us. 
we'll go down and see if we can get some good pictures. You don't get many of the good places like that where you got time to get two people out of camera, <laughs> you know? Yeah. A lot of the time it's like leap out the door, quick, 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 you know, bang, yeah. bang. Oh, you know? so, so it doesn't happen very often, but bloody beauty, you know? Yeah. yeah. Nice ball. Got a beautiful gear on it. This segment is brought to you by Elite Archery, makers of the world's most shootable bows. Vortex Optics, the force of optics. Slick Trick, the deadliest broadhead, period. Scott Archery, the number one name in the release game. This segment is brought to you by Dillon Manufacturing, fiberglass deer blinds. Eberly Stock, our favorite hunting pack. True Glow, when brightness counts. Fox Pro, high performance game calls. You're watching Double Lung Outdoors TV. Alpine hunting is about six hours south of Auckland. We flew into Auckland. It is a home away from home. The people here are amazing. The food is amazing. The accommodations are great. And the people just make you feel at home. The guides are super and they work with you, help you, guide you to accomplish all your goals. And they're all just amazing people and super great. We got some great animals, like from big stags right through to great seeker, fallow rusa, samba, and some really good trophies. And it makes for some great stalking, uh, lots of scrub, and a um, bit of native timber. It yeah, makes some really good stalking. Here in New Zealand at Alpine Hunting, the terrain is uh, very traverse. Uh, there's a lot of lowlands, a lot of mountaintops. It all makes for some great hunting. So second day in the chopper, we headed up. Uh, we were up there about three hours. Got out on a frosty morning, hoping for a good chamois. Right off the bat, we seen a group of chamois. We flew up in there, got where we could get a good look at them, didn't see what we were looking for, so we're moving on. Made a move, uh, didn't go our way. They took off over the top. We'll give it another shot. We saw a few different chamois. We started to find a place to get out after them and they took off. As we flew, we spotted a chamois. Uh, we stopped to get a better look at them, but we're just not having any luck. We're determined, we're gonna hold off and wait for the perfect chamois. We've been flying around, we're seeing a lot of activity, but it's mostly small males and females. We're up flying around trying to locate a chamois. We spotted one and we got out of the helicopter. Make a little bit of a move. You want me to hit him? Okay, turn me around. Helicopter's over there trying to retrieve it right now. Woo! Okay, you can't beat this. If you're looking for an exciting hunt, you need to come see Alpine hunting uh, in New Zealand. 
Hunty Tar and Chamois with the uh, helicopter. Woo! It's always been a dream of mine to come to New Zealand and hunt. It's just been an awesome trip. We were able to close out and uh, harvest the chamois and uh, take care of the biggest thing on my bucket list. Hunting tar and chamois out of a helicopter is very exciting, but if you like exciting hunting, that's, that's what you need to come over here to New Zealand to do. Thanks for watching Double Lung Outdoors. It's been an exciting show. Hope you all enjoyed it.